All right, so here we are. We are day four of the turbo build, and today's big thing is going to be moving the power steering um, reservoir to a different location and uh, finish up drilling the hole into the oil return line and bolt on the turbo. So hopefully today's going to be the end of the, uh, the build. I'll be driving it home, waiting for my injectors to come in, and then uh, go get it installed and uh, get the tune done. Okay, here's the hole we have cut so far, but what we need to do is um, make a screw, we're getting a bolt actually, and we're gonna stick it in there to kind of fill that hole in, so whenever we do tap it and create the threads, uh, none of the shavings go down into the, uh, into the oil there. So you can hear Delmer's actually in here, kind of cutting the top off a little bit of a screw to make some room. Oh, we just got finished. And there it is. So that'll fit it. Oh, that grinded on really nice. Yeah. Yeah, so that actually gives us more room to be able to drill down. Because we have to go another, what, nine, ten millimeters or something like that. So that'll fill that hole cool. And uh, we'll be good to go. There it is. It's all tapped in threads are in there. Delmer did a fantastic job and we now have our oil return line for the turbo all set up which is going to be right here once we get it in there and we're good. Good job. Here we are. We got the drain hose for the oil going into the um, thing attached and we have the uh, oil feed line going in as well. We're going to reinstall the engine mounts once we're down there, get that all back working again, and then we're going to relocate the power steering fluid. I already got the bracket attached there. So once we get the engine mounts done, then we're going to go ahead and do that uh, with the power steering fluid and eventually start installing the turbo. All right, we officially have the engine mount in there, and now we're going to head to the reservoir. Uh, we're basically going to um empty it, disconnect the tubes, move it over here, and reattach it. I actually got it from DDM Works. They have a little kit you can purchase and um, to make it a little bit easier for you. And it's gonna fit here, it seems like it's gonna be a tight fit, but apparently it works because that's where they have it all set up at. So we're gonna empty this out and, uh, and move it. Now they say you can just um, disconnect the hose from the uh, power steering pump, but we're gonna go ahead and empty it this way, hopefully it'll be a little bit cleaner rather than having all of the uh, power steering fluid dumping all over the bottom of the frame and stuff like that. There's still going to be some, but it shouldn't be as much. Alright, we have the power steering reservoir uh, in its new spot. There's the new line going there and it's going underneath the battery, I'm sorry, underneath the fuse box. Over top of the battery, up the end there, and there is the new reservoir area, the location. And then the smaller um, Smaller pipe come, or tube come, comes around and attaches to its original one that went down, I guess, uh, to the power steering area, whatever's down there. So anyway, that's done. Now what we're going to do is put the exhaust manifold on, just kind of set it there because we want to see how close it gets to this pipe here or this uh, hose uh, for the power steering because we might have to put some kind of shield or something on there to get the heat away. But we're going to test fit it now and see how that works. All right, this is what the new exhaust manifold's gonna look like. And you can see it has the pipe coming up for the turbo. Right in there. All right, we're screwing in the exhaust manifold now, and we're gonna uh, kind of temporarily put the turbo on there, like I said, to make sure it doesn't go up against that power steering line, but we are getting very, very close to kind of being done. As usual, we ran into a bit of a snag. The old reservoir, um, power steering reservoir holder is in the way of the turbo and it's connected to this whole thing that holds the fuse box and everything else. So what we're going to do is try to cut this part off here, which is a whole, this whole section. And then we might even have to cut a little bit of an area off of here. Not too happy about it, but might have to cut a little bit of area off of here just to make room for the turbo to be sitting there. So we're going to give that a shot and hopefully it works.
All right, we cut one piece off of that bracket. What we're trying to do is just kind of move it back a little bit. And we're going to drill two new holes in the um, frame there and slide it back and then attach it to this as well. So hopefully just by moving the whole um, the whole bracket back, this is going to move the fuse box back a little bit. It's going to make enough room for the uh, for the turbo and still have that metal piece protecting all the wiring and stuff like that. Okay, so we got the uh, the bracket, even though you don't see it here, the bracket we got marked. Put a couple of new holes down there, which is that one, and then there's one on the other side. Uh, that's going to hold the bracket, but we took it back out to make room for putting the turbo in. So that's what we're doing now. Once we get the turbo in, put the bracket back in, and then we're going to put a little uh, hole in this side so we can have that all set up for the reservoir. All right, so we didn't get it all finished today. Uh, I was hoping we were, but we got made a lot of progress. We're actually kind of moving stuff around, and I'm going to pull it into this garage. Uh, I'm not going to be able to start it up, which I hope we would have. But hey, we run out of time, and it's going to be raining, so we want to get in this garage so we can start working on it again tomorrow. So this wraps up day four, and uh, that's the end of this video. Until next time, I will see you in the next one.